What moral incentive does a terminally ill patient, for example, an individual with a malignant inoperative tumor who has a few months to live, have to continue to respect the rights of other individuals? For example, why should he not borrow large sums of money that he can't repay or take violent revenge on an enemy? Well, the first thing I want to say is that ethics is not for the dying. If all that's possible to you is a drawn-out death, you cannot derive principles of ethics. That's the same issue as the lifeboat questions. If four people are in a lifeboat and only three can survive, what does ethics say as to who should jump? If you can't survive, there is no ethics. Now, even though this individual doesn't have a, a life in front of him, others do. And they have, therefore, every right to observe what he does and hold him uh, to account. In other words, punish him, apprehend him, uh, whatever, if they can. Now, I have another question here. If he's dying, what does he care about money and revenge? He can't spend it. He's not going to get satisfaction for very long. How come... He doesn't value his life, but he wants all these things for uh, his future. Now, the only argument I can think of is that he's doing it for others. He's got a child from whom he's stealing the money, or there's an evil man courting his daughter, or who knows what. I would say, if this man is still capable of long, long range, at least across a month, action, and he was a moral man up to this point, which is implicit in, in the question, then the values that he has automatized through his life uh, should still matter. He's still alive, and there should be some things from the principles that he's accepted, if he has accepted, that remain guiding. I mean, you could say, would you, if you said to him, well, you can do anything now, there is no morality, why don't you throw acid in that child's face? He wouldn't do it, presumably, unless you're talking about a total monster. He would have certain moral principles so automatized that it would be inconceivable. And I think a moral man would have that for things like uh, violence or uh, uh, robbery, unless he feels that there's no time to wait for the justice system to operate, and or he feels that there's someone helpless that he has to help, and that's the only way he can do it. Then I would say in those cases, he should take advantage of the inapplicability of morality, if he can get away with it.